Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about RPGs! I've got a special guest on today. Uh, you may have recognized him from a previous episode, but he's not talking about any of his games this time, so, you know, wake up. Uh, now, this is Josh Jordan. And, uh, how are you doing, Josh? Good, good. Thanks for having me, Dr. Tom. I'm super excited to have you. Now, I understand this this Game Chief thing is a contest you're running where gamers divide into different tribes, and they criticize each other's game styles until only one Game Chief remains. Uh, how, how is that? Uh, well, actually, you're you're not quite on, on point there. There'll be a Game Chef, I think you're talking about. Game, game chef, yeah, like uh, like like recipes, like cooking, that kind of thing. Oh well, how I, I guess it's a very limited competition because everyone has to taste the food. Well, the we kind of use chef as kind of like a metaphor for uh, putting together a couple of ingredients and a theme in whatever way inspires you. It's 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 based off of a TV show, but that's you don't have to have seen the TV show for it to make sense. Just imagine, instead of a cooking challenge, it's more of a designing challenge to make a new game. Make a new game. So, oh, okay, cool. So, what does the winner get? Well, the winner gets fame and and fortune, mostly fame. Okay, fame in indie RPGs is uh, that's with like a dozens or tens of people. Yeah, yeah, and actually, we had. 300 people participate last year and uh, I personally this may sound a little uh, hokey but I consider everyone who completes a game to be a winner because hey they now have a game that they didn't that they didn't have before so there, yes there there is a winner every year but if, if we have 300 new participants each making a game then I think in, in some ways everybody wins. Like NaNoWriMo, if you write 50,000 words, then just pat yourself on the back. Way to go. Yep, kind of like that. Oh, cool. So have any actual playable games that have been fun come out of Game Chef, or is this just basically like a giant love fest? Uh, yeah, I, uh, it depends on what you consider fun, but uh, Pulse is one that came out from Brazil two years ago. And it's a very interesting RPG. It uses kind of like circles and intersections. And then there are a lot of ones that, you know, that have come out that you may have heard of that were originally Game Chef games, and then the designers worked on them more like uh, Mountain Witch. You know, uh, I believe Polaris was originally inspired by a Game Chef game. Um, a lot of ones that end up coming out in the indie game cir uh, circles were at one point a Game Chef game, and, and the designer decided they wanted to add to it and make it a little bit longer. Oh, neat. Yeah, I, my, my production assistant is all hyped up about a game called Gana, Gana Gaka Gaka Gaka. I don't know. Something like that. They, he said it was a Game Chef game. Yeah. I, I understand that this thing is underway. How long do you have? Like six months? Uh, you have nine days, counting today. Nine days? Counting, mm -hmm. wait, today? So when does it end? It ends on the 22nd, uh, Hawaii time, which is the 23rd for, for some of us. Because we, we decided we, we would uh, give everybody the benefit of the doubt time-wise. So it starts on the uh, 13th in the earliest time zone, that's in New Zealand. And it ends on the 22nd in the latest time zone, that's in Hawaii. So you just declare Game Chef, and then everyone runs forward and makes games in nine days, and then, uh, and then you're you're done. That's that's cool. Uh, any like, whatever you want, just go. Well, uh, the basically, in order to give people some sort of creative encouragement, we give them one theme that we want them to uh, include in their game, and four ingredients, and we ask them to try to include two or three of the ingredients uh, as, as deeply as they can into the design of the game. So every year the theme and the ingredients are different. We actually just announced the theme and the ingredients for this year. Oh, uh, hit me with it, uh, game master, chef, master guy. Go for it. 
Okay, well, the theme for this year is a different audience. And you can kind of interpret that how you want, but some of the ways people have already started interpreting it is either designing a game for a play group that you wouldn't normally play with, like uh, your friends in the nursing home, or your mom, or uh, your friends who are part of an ethnic group that don't play a whole lot of role-playing games yet. Um, or uh, you could have a game that incorporates the idea of an audience, like it could be about a crazy theater director who's kidnapping people. Um, hopefully you don't actually do that in real life, but that's the part of one person's game I saw. So that's the theme, a different audience. And then the four ingredients, of which you should grab two or three, there are abandon, like the verb abandon, uh, dragonfly. D dra dra dragonfly? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm interested. Keep, uh, keep going. I'm hungry, though. S stillness and dream. Stillness and dream, dragonfly, and, and abandon. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, okay, so you have to dev devise a game that, that addresses the theme and then a, a couple of the ingredients. You got nine days to make it happen. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you do? Like, are there any people you see? You've seen some games. Where do you see those games? Uh, well, if you go to game-chef.com, you can find links to the, our Twitter handle. You can also find links to the Google Plus group. Uh, a lot of people are in a Google Plus community, and they've just been kind of brainstorming and encouraging each other. That's where a lot of it happened last year. You don't absolutely have to be part of that community, but if you want some encouragement, that's a really good place to go. And you can find that from game-chef.com. Okay, we'll we'll put a link to that in the sh at the end of the show there, or, or mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in the notes here. Okay, so game chef dot com is where you find all the people to talk about the awesome games. That's really cool. You have until some Hawaii time that you'll also find on the website that I've never told Hawaii time. I've never been to Hawaii. Is it good? I, I haven't been there either, but I I would love to go. So maybe we can make that happen after the contest. Hmm. Huh. Wait, hold on a second. Now you're not the only one running the show, right? There, there's some other people who are helping out with Game Chef, if I recall. That, that's true. I am one of two global coordinators. The other one is Rachel Story Burke. She's a very helpful, very organized lady, and we are uh, kind of keeping track of things overall. But the contest is actually running in seven different languages, and each language has at least one coordinator helping with that specific community. Uh, Cheyenne and Stenter are the two, and you will meet them if you go to that Google Plus group who are taking care of the English group this year. But the, the French community and the Italian community are both very nice people. I, I don't speak enough uh, Korean in order to check in on the Korean community directly very often, but, but, but I have met those people and they, they are very nice too. So depending on what language you speak, there is at least one or two people who is happy to help you and encourage you and make sure you can get answers to all your rules, questions, and all that fun stuff. Oh, cool. That's awesome. You have all kinds of different languages and, and different people helping out. That's super exciting. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. Enough of this Game Chef talk. I have got a serious question for you, Josh. Are you ready for your serious question? Yes. All right. If you were in an actual cooking competition, what is the worst secret ingredient that you could get? Oh, that's a good question. Um, Crack writing staff. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh, I think if I were in an actual cooking show, the worst ingredient for me would be onions because I'm allergic to them. And they're in a lot of foods, so it's likely that that might be a secret ingredient. But I would, I would freak out and do terribly because... I like onions hurt my face, so so let's not let's not do that. Oh wait, so if we're talking about actual like face punching, that's that's kind of an indie game. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Well, well, Josh, thank you so much for coming on real quick, so we could talk about Game Chef. I really appreciate having you on. My pleasure. You just watched the Doctor Tom the Frog Show. And we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.